Good morning, my fellow yogic travelers. I'm mighty glad to be alive today, and I hope that you are too, as we continue to live, laugh, love, learn, linger, and live the life we love. My Native American teachers want me to remind you, as well as reminding me, to honor practice. Practice is not just what you do on the mat if you're a yogi. Practice is the way you live your whole life. The mat experience is direct practice, and life is direct experience as well. So can you honor all that comes to teach you? Some of it may not be pleasant. But you'll grow stronger and more resilient if you do. And then you learn to perceive what prevents your own flow, especially the things that might be self-sabotaging because there's so much out of our control. But at least if you can understand how we do it to ourselves, we can have a little leverage over that, let that go. A lot for me has to do with the planting of seed thoughts into my subconscious mind and of course follow up on it by actions in your daily life. But the realization that the subconscious mind is a marvelous power, that you need not acquire this power, you already possess it, and it's as if there's treasure within you like a gold mine, but it has to be extracted. So whatever you impress upon your subconscious idea, you express it on the screen of space is condition, event, and circumstance. So that means your habitual thinking and imagery is going to fashion and mold and therefore create your character and your destiny. So use this power to apply your own knowledge to specific goals that you wish to achieve and then be inspired by your own new light. Generate a new force and be certain of the results. And then for you, life will be grander, greater, richer, and more noble than ever before. And that leads you to what we call the art of living, which is the first understanding is that the teachings are non-sectarian, they're universal. And at that level, a certain amount of ego disappears because that's what dissolves the questions. It's really simple. Live an ethical life, do good. The goal is to eradicate all habits that cause suffering to you or other people. So right speech, right action. Don't speculate about what can only be experienced. That just distracts you from the work. Experience it. Live it. Starts off with sitting in silence and meditation and then applying yourself to whatever form you're attracted to. So help yourself out first. Right? The person bound hand and foot can't free another. And then don't tell a story that concerns something far off, what I call postponement. Concern yourself now with your present life. Make the present life good, and the future will automatically be good. Because based on the law of karma, we are the inheritors of our own actions, either for reward or retribution. So with that understanding, take on the day, and this week... I'm going to be changing by the end of the week. I'm going to start a whole new series of Dharma talks with PowerPoint presentations. I'm still working out the glitches on it to make sure that I can show the uh, presentation literacy in the form of the images and give commentary on top of that. And once I get that down, I'll start to shift the kind of format. But every day I'll still be glad that I'm alive, and I hope that you are too. So this week is our next Good for What Ails You teaching uh, on the life of BKS Iyengar this coming Wednesday from 11 to 1. Check out my website if you want to get connected to it. And then uh, I'm teaching at Nurture in Richmond, Illinois this past weekend on Saturday the 5th, uh, Alignment uh, as Enlightenment, and also uh, Good for What Ails You. If you have any therapeutic concerns, this would be a great uh, class for you to come in and do it. And this is an in-person class. And then we'll take a break for a couple of weeks, and we'll be back again at the end of this month. And we'll give you the next schedule all the way through December till the new year begins. So I hope you got fed in whatever way you need to. Take it to the streets, and always bet on yourself. You're a spark of the divine.